Volleyball is a complex sport. Just in other team sports like football or basketball, you need different types of players to be successful as a team. So what is your position? What are your skills? Do you perform at your best with your unique abilities? In this video we will break down all the volleyball positions with their individual responsibilities and requirements. Let's dig right into it. In volleyball there are six players on the court, three in the front row and three in the back row. The positions are named from one to six. So let's talk about the different jobs on the court, their skill requirements and responsibilities. And of course I will speak very generally, so exceptions prove the rule. Let's start with the outside hitter. He is usually the most universal and complete player with lots of skills. He has to be good in reception, attacking and blocking. Also, he often takes over the setting and out-of-system situations when the setter can't execute. You find him on position 4 on the net and mostly on position 6 in the back row, sometimes on 5. Since he plays in reception and defense as well as in attack and block, it seems like the outside here is kind of the backbone of the team. Notice that he blocks against the main opponent attacker, the opposite, as well as against the setter when he is front row. There's a lot to do for an outside hitter. Next is the middle player, often the tallest players on the court because they need great skills in blocking. He plays on position 3. Their responsibility is to block, always on position 3, as well as on 2 and 4 and in between, so they have to move and jump a lot at the net. That's why the middle player need to be a good reader of the game of the opponent's setter. They also attack, but not as quite often as they block. Nevertheless, since their attacks are usually quite quick, they are mostly spectacular since these attacks are hard to block. In defense, they are usually replaced by the libero since their defense and receiving skills are often not the best. So the position of the middle player requires great lateral movement skills, good jumping abilities and skills to anticipate the pass of the opponent's setter. So as the outside hitter is functioning as a left side hitter, the opposite is the right side hitter of the game. As the main attacker, he usually plays opposite to the setter. Therefore, he is found on position 2 in the front row and on position 1 in the back row. He is a dominant force in attack, has to be able to score against a double block or even a triple block and out of difficult situations. He gets the hard and shitty balls and has often to attack against a strong block and a stable defense. Still, as the main attacker, the team relies on his talent to score in the crunch time the important points in the game. Let's talk about the setter. You find him on position 2 in the front row and on position 1 in the back row. He is a player who always gets a second ball contact to provide a good situation for the attackers to score a point. Therefore, he wants to show as late as possible where his set's gonna go. He also needs to have great ball handling skills to be able to make accurate sets to his attackers. He is usually the leader of the team, since he's the one building up the strategic game which is specified by the trainer. Therefore, he has also excellent communication skills and lots of empathy for his attackers to know who got a hot hand and who might feel a little insecure in this situation and needs to be spared. He is kind of the right hand of the trainer. The libero is kind of the cornerstone to the team's reception and defense strategy. He is only allowed to play in the back row and wears a different jersey so it's easy to identify him as a special player. You often find him on position 5, sometimes on 6, almost never on position 1. He can be replaced for any other player in the back row and it does not count as a substitution. Nevertheless, there are rule limitations. He is not allowed to set in the 3 meter zone, he cannot serve and he cannot attack and block. As a specialist for the first contact, he usually never scores and therefore needs to be a positive and enthusiastic person with intrinsic motivation to help the team win by making spectacular defense actions. So what is your player type? Where do you play and what are your skills? Please share and comment down below. Hope you liked this video, feel free to subscribe to learn more about volleyball and become a better player.